excited. Not because it's a beautiful day, not because it's Friday evening, because we got ourselves my favorite fifth wheel, the Cedar Creek. Ah. All right, folks, take a look at a Cedar Creek Silverback Edition. Model number is 31IK. Why do I love these so much? Quality construction and the way that they build them. So this has an aluminum structure. We have plywood ceilings, plywood floors. Oh, oh. Two and a half inch walls, extra insulation, frameless windows. Let's keep going. You see two ACs, one of them's a heat pump. It's prepped for a backup camera. We got hydraulic slides, hydraulic automatic leveling system. The studs, by the way, inside these walls, every 12 inches, built very similar to a house. It does add some weight. I strongly recommend a one ton truck. There's the automatic leveling system right there. We got two batteries already in there. Wet bay, nice and organized. Your 50 amp power connection, it's on a reel. That's our central vacuum system over there. Aluminum construction, take a look. Oh my goodness, do I ever love these. We got outside speakers, Furion. Take a look at these steps. Not only are they solid steps, but they're also spring loaded. So it's nice and easy to bring in and out. Okay, excited about the outside. Let's go in. Spring loaded steps. Let me show you how easy this is. With one hand, there we go. Just like that. Okay, walk it into my absolute favorite fifth wheel of all time. This Cedar Creek. Riverstone, by the way, is another division of Forest River. High quality, a step above the Cedar Creek. However, price is a step above too. The Cedar Creek is the one for me. All right, we got four chairs and a table. That table does extend. In the chairs, we've got storage. We got roller shades throughout. Take a look at how tall those slides are. Look at the beautiful valances. Lots of windows. Power recliners right here. Across the ways is the TV. We'll get there. Take a look at this sofa back here. The whole width of this trailer. That's awesome. Woodwork, very nice. Quality wood. Whisper quiet AC. Of course, this turns into a big bed. I think there's a picture of it. Oh, I'll have a video attached to it. How about that? We got a fireplace. We got a stereo with two speakers. A huge TV. Look at the center island. It almost looks like it's floating because of those LED lights down low. All right, we got a Furion oven, three burner stove. We got a, a Insignia microwave. Love it. Back here, great spot there for a coffee maker. Wine glasses right there. Oh, I like those plastic ones myself. <laughs> pantry, hello pantry. Oh, folks, too, I do have to point out. So the couple that had this took very good care of it, of course, as you can see. I'm pointing this out to you because it's important. We have never cleaned this. I'm going to show you some dirt that I found, but it is super, super clean. Very well taken care of. As for most Cedar Creek owners, they are fussy and they keep care of their, care of their stuff. So I see a couple of little grains in there. Yeah, that's a little dirty, but we'll get that cleaned out. No big deal. I do want to show a imperfection. There's that little dent there in the fridge. That's no big deal either. 
No charge. <laughs> Kidding. All right. That's for the fan. Yeah, do we have a solar panel on this? It looks like we do. Huh. Cool. I didn't know. Bathroom. Solid service countertops, even in the bathroom. Two medicine cabinets. Fan, exactly where it should be. That is a porcelain toilet. The shower is a two-piece shower with a corner seat. Again, super clean. Skylight. Storage right here. Next up, bedroom. Ta-da! Oh, we do want to point out, okay, so this mattress was never used. That is the mattress for the sofa. And it doesn't look like it was used either. We have opposing windows for great cross ventilation. A couple of hooks up there. Another TV, window, whisper quiet AC again, I see. And that's what the rear sofa looks like converted to a bed. All right, next up, let's take a look at this huge closet. Voila. Yep, you can live in this thing. We are prepped for a washer and dryer. Take a look how deep this is. I can actually walk right in. It's not, a, it's not what I call a walk-in closet, but I can certainly walk right in. Even I can get my, my fat butt in here. See? Almost a walk-in closet. Okay, I'm out of the closet. <laughs> Folks, even as I'm talking, there's no echo. You can feel the insulation in this thing. So these, uh, these RVs, they do stay cooler in the summer than most. And when it gets cold outside, of course, it'll stay warmer longer than any of your friends' fifth wheels. 80 Commerce Street in Moncton. That's where we're at. I hope to see you soon. Bye for now. If you like what you see, please give us a call at 388-5751, or you can send us a text, email, and we can even do FaceTime with you if you want to see more.